All right, so we now know how to set up our project, uh, what's needed to set up the project and so on. Now let's look at, so these are REST functions. So uh, the one we just demonstrated is a REST function, meaning that it's uh, like REST APIs. You can call it uh, and so on. You get your REST APIs. And plus also you can get to pass it parameters, like you can send it parameters, you can, it can receive parameters and so on. And these parameters are in the request. So basically inside the request, you can receive some parameters. You can look at it, how to do that and so on. That's straightforward. It's it's all in the documentation on how to uh, to send parameters and so on. What, I, what I'm more interested in is functions that are called callable functions. So basically, if you look, um, uh, um, there are other functions that Firebase provides uh, and, and they are called Firebase callable functions. So uh, call, uh, callable functions, right? So basically, uh, if you look here, and if we look here, there is a different kind of function called on call. So basically, this one is defined using on request, but we can define it also as okay. Let's add a function here, and we call it, for example, uh, callable, uh, or maybe we call it hello world. The other one is hi world, for example. Okay. And this function is a little bit different. So basically this function, you you do not receive a request and the response, you get some data and you get the context, right? So the data is going to be whatever parameters people or whatever parameters the system sends you or the, the whoever is the caller sending you. And the, um, the, the, uh, the context is more provides you authentication context, authentication information, as you could see here, you see, you can get some information about the context has authentication, if there is authentication or no, if it's called by an authenticated user or it's called by a user which is not authenticated and so on. So now this function needs to return something. So this function needs to return something. It needs to say, let's return, uh, let's say, um, we'll call it hello from high world, right? All right, so that's basically what we are returning. Let's also just for the sake of, of testing here, I'm going to, um, console.log I'm going to uh, console.log the data the whatever data I'm receiving I'm going to console.log it okay I save this I go back here now how do I test high world right so it's a little bit different these are not cloud functions so basically this one is a cloud function sorry th these are all cloud functions I mean but this is not a rest function this is a callable function right callable function so now in order to do the callable function it's a little bit different. So basically in order to run the callable function, we either call it from a mobile app using the Android SDK, or we need to use uh, an emulator. So basically let's see. So if I do a control C to get out of this, and then if you look at Firebase uh, minus H, they show you the help here. And then if you scroll up a little bit, you will see that there is functions and then shell. See here, there is functions shell it launches the full node shell with emulated functions. So basically, it gives you a node. Uh, so I'll show you Firebase, Firebase, functions shell. When I click enter, see what's going to happen. It recompiles the project and then it tells you that there is a loaded function called Hi World. In order to call it, you just say Hi World and you pass it some data. I'm not going to have any data and I press a semicolon and I press enter. And then it sends a call to the function and it gives you back the result. And you could see here it says hello from high world. I know it's a little bit different, but it's a callable function. So basically, this is a function that you call. Let's I put nothing inside here. The data is empty. Let me just put some data. I will say, for example, name uh, is and this is Jason, right? So Bob Smith. And here we are. And basically, I'm going to call it like this. Press enter. And then all what I'm returning back to you is the um, whatever the function is returning okay now another thing to keep in mind is the log you see the log console.log the log gets printed here in the shell and that allows you to to make a function call to a callable uh, function now how to exit the shell dot exit exit the shell it's very similar to the node.js shell right but anyhow so here we are and we're good so basically i exit the shell now what if I would like to deploy? So basic, basically, if you look here, if you scroll down a little bit, all of this is not on the cloud yet, right? So basically, I would like to deploy. So 
what I could do is I would use this. I want to deploy only the functions. So I'll go here, do this. Firebase deploy only functions, right? Something to keep in mind is that this is this fun this command is only going to work if the project that is tied up to this is a pay as you go project. You see here, this project is a pay as you go. Uh, they give you like 2 million, uh, like if you look at my, uh, let's say, if I go here and look at usage and billing, and I look at the functions, view the usage, you could see that up to 2 million, I can make 2 million invocations of functions, f and it costs nothing, you, no cost limit. So basically, in order to deploy, you have uh, to have a paid account, right? So uh, anyhow, so I did show you now that I was able to uh, that I have two million calls that will cost me nothing anyhow so I press enter now and now what it is going to do it's going to deploy that function right okay takes a little bit of time that's why testing these functions is more doable when you run this command uh, when you do use the shell to test so when you are happy with everything then you deploy you know, I don't really recommend doing it and I already have some functions there I'm just gonna remove them so would you like to proceed with the deletions? It's going to remove whatever I have, and then it's going to add the functions that I just created now. So let's see. Okay. So it is going to uh, deploy the function on the cloud. So let's wait a little bit, and it's going to deploy it. Now, if we go to your project, you click on functions, and if you look a little bit here, these are the functions that I already have. I don't need these functions. I'm adding... I added uh, hello world, here is hello world, and then hi world. These are the two functions that I just added, right? Now, I had other functions in this project. Let's wait a little bit and see. I think it's going to, would you like to proceed, the delete, selecting no, will continue with the rest of the deployment. So basically, it seems that uh, it's asking me, do you want to delete the ones that I have? But anyhow, so in your case, if you're starting fresh, you'll not get this prompt and it should deploy the functions. The functions are not deployed until you get the prompt back. So basically we are waiting until it tells us what's going on. Okay, so let's see. So now while this is happening, uh, basically now, uh, yeah, ultimately what's going to happen is that the hello world is a REST API, right? So this hello world function, you see here, this is the name of the function. Hello world function is a REST API. So basically this hello world, I possibly could, um, let's see this is the link to it maybe i could just expand that screen a little bit so that i could see the whole url this is the url for it copy the url uh, you can also go and view its log detail status and so on right so let's wait a little bit until it's done here i know it takes time that's why i don't recommend deploying unless you are done right Okay, so I have the URL now. Ultimately, it's a URL, and this is not localhost anymore. And you press enter, and it should show you hello from hello world. This is, of course, not what we are doing here. So basically, because it should say hello from Firebase. So this is the old function, right? So basically, in its I will refresh uh, until it's still. So basically, hello world center successful update operation. Good. So now we'll just sit and wait. But the hello world function is should say hello from Firebase, right? Okay. Anyhow, it takes time. So basically, see here, it says that it's done. Now, when I go back to the Hello World one and refresh, it should say, hello from, um, so this is Hello World. Maybe it changed. So let's see, I refresh the screen here. And here is the Hello World function. I'm gonna copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. And here it is, Hello from Firebase. So that it did get updated because you see the function returns hello from firebase and it's sending also here hello from firebase so we're good so we are able to do this now in order to test the deployment of the uh, high world function i will show you how to call this callable function from um, an android app okay so i'll set up an android app that has all these all the wiring to firebase and then we'll use it in the next video please let us know if you have any questions